Hey YouTube. So one of the most utilized rivers in the North Metro Atlanta area is the Cartier River up in Ellijay. It is a very fun class two river and it can actually be more than class two when the rains really come in and it gets flooded out. It's an absolute blast, but most people are paddling it around two feet and it is a great class two training river. So thought I'd do a quick video here and go over different moves, more advanced moves, and ways you can work the Cartier to help prepare you to get on other rivers. Say you want to get on the uh, Nantahala, maybe you want to get on the Ocoee later on, or other harder rivers. There's a lot of stuff you can do on the Cartier to help get you ready for that. So, let's go through the Cartier and see what we can make happen on there. First thing to do when you get on the Cartier is to put in is just paddle upstream a little bit to right under the bridge and you can see these pylons make some really nice eddy lines if you want to get warmed up and do some stern squirts, stern stalls, practice ferry and just get warmed up before you start heading down the river. This is a great area to practice peel outs and ferries if you're just starting. Here at the top of Sexton's Rapid, which is the first rapid you come to, there's a couple of surf waves. One is this little pour over here that you see Caleb and the Axiom doing 360s. And then down below that, there are two other smaller waves that you see in a second. Over here. Drop in. surfing right here. You can front surf it, you can 360 it, side surf it, whatever you want to do. This eddy is just immediately below the surf spot we just looked at and is a great place to practice ferrying back and forth. Again, this is the same location below the initial surf spot, and if you come in from the river center eddy, there are two nice little surf waves at this level of water. Uh, one right here that I'm at, and then there's also another one right there below me that you can also play in. So in different levels, you can do 360 spins. At lower level, it's mostly just front surf. One word of caution on this lower wave here, you can see this log is downstream. Some people have gotten stuck under that, so you need to be careful there. You can go left where Mike's at, you can go right, you can go center. Pretty much like everything on the car, okay? It runs wherever you want to go for the most part. The question is how manky is it going to be when you get there? So you can go here to that eddy, drop down to that eddy, run to the left. You can eddy out over here, eddy out over there, run the right, or just run straight down the middle. Yeah, a little mic here right here. So again, ferry over here is a great place to practice all of this, super easy. And then here you can Drop in, grab that eddy. So lots of eddy up. Come in here. You know, most people just run right through this. We've got a number of eddy options. So you can run down this little line, grab that little eddy, grab that eddy. Tons of light lines. You know, in each level it changes a little bit. Again, this is the 
very bottom section of Sexton's Rapid, uh, just as you're about to leave the area where the houses are at. It's really a great section for practicing ferrying and catching eddies. And instead of just bombing through this, really see how many eddies you can catch because there's a lot of them there. Right down here at the very bottom on river left where you can see everybody's in the eddy. This right here is one of the best stern squirt lines on the entire river. Great, great place to practice if you want to learn how to do that. We are approaching Surfers Rapid, and on far river left you can see this rock here. It's a fun little splat rock you can get up on there just before you drop into Surfers right here. This is Surfers, and this is a great rapid to do a lot of things. Here you can practice ferrying back and forth. There's great opportunities for bow surfing, side surfing, 360s. This far river left section right here is usually the smoothest spot to learn how to surf. You can come right in off that eddy. You don't need any speed. You just gotta keep your bow forward and you can surf there as long as you want. It's a very, very easy place to practice. And it's the smoothest section of that wave there at surfers is this far river left line right here. go just right of center or players left at this green tongue and get on the shoulder of it. This is the best spot at surfers to practice 360 spins. And you can just do this for as long as you feel like it. Yeah, right there is just perfect 360. Over here, for the side surf, sculling brace. Great practice for this right here. Get yourself out of the hole. All right, see how long you can keep yourself here and then dig your way out. section here at Surfers is great for practicing side surfing, uh, facing either direction, and helping you learn how to get yourself out of a side surf, and kind of start learning how to get yourself out of a hole, and just generally surf your boat in every single angle possible. Up here and blast it, three sink the stern. In a slicey boat, I can sit here in a stern stall. It's a lot easier. Go to a side surf. After you leave surfers, you'll come around the bend, and this little eddy on the left is fun to catch. You can do some great stern stalls here. You can do some ferry practice back and forth. And as you come into that eddy, you can just get some really nice, natural feeling stern stalls as you just flip right in. Okay, here's the island. Approaching, you've got some eddies to catch here. Complete this track. Ferry over. This little channel next to the island above S-Turn is a great place to continue eddy hopping and practicing your ferry. And S-Turn down here around the bend has a lot of really great lines. It's a great rapid with about 10 different eddies that you can try and catch. And we'll look at some alternate lines up here in just a second. Very shallow in this section. This is a map of S-Turn Rapid on the Cartier, which is the most dynamic rapid, I think, 
that the car decay has. A lot of people just run down the traditional line that I have labeled here. Other people, you can also run the easy line, which is just a straight pour over. A lot of people bomb this rapid, but there are 11 eddies that you can catch in this rapid that really are fun to do. Great training to do harder rivers, harder moves, and just a fabulous way to run this river. So we've labeled each of the eddies on this map. I've shown where the surf spots are. And you can see all the uh, eddies are numbered in sequence that I like to run them. Uh, so they go from 1 through 11. Note that eddy number 9 is actually an attainment up from eddy number 8. And if you see that lower surf wave just above number 8, you actually want to grab that surf wave and use that to help you ferry over and attain back over to eddy number 9. So that is an attainment as well as part of doing the moves in S-turn. All right, so here's Mike is. Caught Eddie. Come down from the stage deck. Come down. run down the main line you can do a really nice fade move here off of this rock or even a rock spin which is super fun as well. Staging eddy number one. All right, we're gonna go drop into stage to eddy number two. Right here, river left. All right. <coughs> drop into eddy number three here. That's the easy line straight down there. Main line down through there. Eddie one, two, three, four, five. Eddie six. Right here.
a good little splat move on the rock just above eddy number 10, but just be aware the flow is pushing you right into the rocks and towards the undercut rock there below eddy number 10. As you leave S-turn and approach Whirlpool, this is a great little splat rail slide just above Whirlpool here. All right, so here's Whirlpool. Coming in, catch Eddie. Number one right here. Carry over. Eddie number two. Surf wave. side players right of whirlpool it's great for surfing you can do front serves at different levels you can do some great 360 spins it's not so good at this level for 360s as um, the river gets higher this pour over gets more and more attentive and above four feet it gets pretty serious the river right eddy over here is where yeah. Whirlpool gets its name because it's so much like a Whirlpool. But this is a great spot you can reverse into some stern squirts, zero effort, just go stern first into the flow and it will auto stern squirt you over and over. This is also a great spot for ferry practice, roll practice, and if you come over here, catch this spot right here, you can stuff your bow, get some enders. Super fun. This is a very dynamic eddy line and flow right here. <laughs> a really fun thing to do at Whirlpool is get out of your boat and jump into the flow and it's so dynamic. You can do some swimming mystery moves where the current sucks you down deep, holds you down. Uh, definitely don't advise doing this without a life jacket, obviously, and helmet being safe about it, but it's tons of fun. River left, just below the big eddy at Whirlpool, is a fabulous beginner's flat rock right here. Followed by a great paddle toss tree before you get to Blackberry Falls. Come in at that, do a 360 rock spin, drive out to the main way, oh. boom, over the hole at the bottom. Oh, the very bottom hole? Uh -huh. And if you can catch it good, you can sometimes catch the eddy by the rock. Yeah. The traditional line to run Blackberry Falls is to get over Far River Right, and you will see a green there rooster tail tongue coming over the horizon line just where I'm at right here, and you just ride that green tongue down, and you're going to hit the haystack, and there's a pillow rock right there, and go over, and you're done. alternate line is coming down river left at the top of Blackberry Falls. You can do a rock spin right there where Caleb's at and then you just come down at a 45, hit the haystack or go left of it and come out. Blackberry is a great spot to just goof off. Here Mike is having fun running it sideways for the fun of it, catching a stern stall. Sometimes we run it backwards. It's just fun to goof off here. Straight on it. One of my favorite things to do at Blackberry is to drive up here into the haystack and surf it. It is super fun. Uh, you can see an eddy kind of up above me to my left that if I'm in a longer boat you can actually attain up into that eddy and that's a really fun move to do. But surfing here is just a blast. Watch your upstream edge if you surf here though because it's a pretty unforgiving spot uh, very quickly. Uh, 
Another alternate line is going far river right at that dry rock at the bank. You can boof off of that, but you need to have more water at about three foot level to do that safely because it's manky. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. The Carter Cay is a super fun river. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. Great training and just a great time. And you just can't be an afternoon goofing off on the Carter Cay, playing with your friends learning new skills and having fun. So I hope this video helps. Hope to see you on the river. And if you enjoy this, feel free to hit like and subscribe. And again, hope to see you on the river. Take care.